oh it's been a while guys <laughs> it's really 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 been a while but i'm back hmm? i'm back okay i'm back <laughs> Hi my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Yo guys, I know I've been absent for a while, so I thought we'd do this live update, let you guys in on what's been going on and where I've been absent. But I feel like I should do like, I feel like this should be like a story time kind of, like story time, life update kind of thing. I have so many stories, I really need to start doing story time. But anyway, a lot has really, really, really been going on. So let's go back to last year with the whole corona situation. I think I last did a life update mid last year. So after that life update, which after that life update, which you should definitely go and watch, I abruptly went back to uni in October. I abruptly went back to uni in October. Like it was so abrupt, I had to drop business, lost my entire clientele for business and everything. But then I had to finish what I started because this course was not going to finish itself. So <laughs> It was well, it was well. I went back to uni, we're doing exams in, you know, chaos. I think that's a story time of its own when we're talking about, you know, there'll be a story time for that. I abruptly went back to uni and then I had to leave my shop in town at Namaganda Plaza beginning of the year. It wasn't making sense anymore. I literally paid rent, you guys, for space in town for a year without actually, with hardly using the place, you know, lockdown and all. And then most of my clients were like mobile clients, they want mobile makeup. So I was like, you know what? It was like a hard decision to make, but I just sold off everything and went back home. Yeah, you guys, it's okay to start afresh always. Like it's okay, it's, it's well, like it's okay to start afresh. So I've been home most of this year, I should say. Uh, you know, trying to strategize, see what next, you know, what best thing to do for Babo's Glam and for myself, wondering what's next. And then there was no graduation, Chambo go cricket. Like you guys, as I talk right now, I still haven't graduated. I will soon in Jesus' name. I think they have made up their minds now. So I've been home the entire year, trying to figure out things, running business from home, selling the Malia's products, the Malia's body butters, the soap, working on some clients, Ah, you guys, generally being a millennial these days, things are not easy, they're really not. So some good news came in, like, you know, the, it was a bit weird, a lot of anxiety and all, you know, about the future, you know, like how you feel like you have, you know, my nails really need doing, guys. <laughs> it's not even work, and I'm so hard because these are my action nails, but it's well. Anyway, trying to run business online at home and i something good came out of it like finally like you guys i have prayed i prayed i prayed i prayed and i eventually came into my dream apartment as of this age of course you know the older you grow the more advanced the things you need and the things you want but this is like my dream apartment right at the moment which i dreamt of which i dreamt about five years ago when i was joining uni and i was like oh god i wish i could have this this and that and god just gave me exactly that i am super super grateful so i had you know may started and then i was like okay new apartment new me why wow, let's do this and then you know things are happening doors are opening i'm getting back my mojo i'm like okay youtube let's do this vlogs what what lockdown again <sighs> what corona hasn't done so lockdown was actually okay because i even still go to work during the lockdown i'll be posting that video up next working in lockdown with my sisters lotus events and how we're able to do it you can basically see from there so as a boy i had a good run you know i was vlogging i was getting back into the game and then i fell sick hmm? it started on the day of the wedding because we did the introduction and the wedding too so i woke up that morning and i was just down like i was shivering i couldn't eat when I still had to work, of course, you know me, the hustle, the hustle must go on. So I was like, you know what, I'm still going to work. <laughs> so we went to work 
and I kid you not, I was not okay that entire time, the entire day. Then I'm like, no, maybe it's food poisoning or something and it will go away. And I also had plans to go to the dentist on Monday. So I'm like, ah, it will be fine. Took painkillers and yeah, I slept. Sunday morning, hmm? I was okay only for, I think, half of the day. Because I did attend service and that day someone was, you know how God tries to prepare you for situations. So that day someone, Apostle Grace, preached about um, how we should be able to pray for ourselves. Like, you know, instead of relying on like pastors or preachers or reverends or whatever, like feeling like if they don't pray for you, eh, you're finished, like it's over. So we're saying like, you know, people need to learn to pray for themselves, especially even when they are sick or someone could actually get sick like be almost that like someone could almost be dying at around 3 a.m they call sister lydia sister lydia's number is off hmm? they call brother john brother john's number is off and then they're like by the time they get to them in the morning the situation is bad so and you know it's funny how you can be agreeing you're like yeah 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 and the practical comes that evening because sunday night i was literally <laughs> being rushed to the hospital uh, by my sister Dush Phyllis, God bless your soul. She was rushing me to hospital. Actually, I remember she first came to the room and she said, Babo. She's like, okay, she calls me Babo. Everyone at call, home calls me Babo. <laughs> so she's like, Babo, are, are you fine? Are you what? Should we go to hospital? I'm like, no, it's okay. So we prayed and then I took some more painkillers and what? And I still wasn't okay. The fever was going up because it was bad. I remember being rushed to the hospital and thinking to myself at the back of the car like Barbara keep your eyes closed sorry not closed fire keep your eyes open like keep your eyes open because I just like if I close my eyes and we just go like this is not that day today is not that day I still have plenty of things to do on this planet so practical came like clockwork that very night you guys and I had to pray for myself and i'm so glad that i actually listened to that someone that day because that was just like a reminder like i was not going to have a pity party on myself oh i'm feeling so weak what and then i just be there like i was spitting scripture standing with god's promises in my heart like saying them out loud in like deep within and then trying to also like actually say some of these words and some of the other bible verses that i was standing on i'm like no 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 like no i refused and went to hospital i did all the tests you can imagine all of them even a covid test you guys you guys who do covid tests often eh? uh -uh. <laughs> it is one of the most uncomfortable tests that one can ever do like literally so we did all sorts of tests they came back and i think the bacteria infection hadn't yet manifested like properly properly to be detected so it's only until um my sister said she had seen a similar situation because i was vomiting black and green things you know like yo it was bad it was bad it was bad so i yeah they got me started on the painkiller they got me, sorry they got they got me on some um i think it was a drip with painkillers or something to kind of reduce the pain and the fever and then i could finally talk a bit what i went home they gave me some medication to swallow some tablets to swallow i went home so this was now monday monday i'm taking the tablets out each tablet out they're like no this is not okay and it was getting worse so we go back to hospital drip drip after drip can you like you guys it was <sighs> like i felt pain before like i've been sick before funny thing is i've actually had um a number of bacteria infections while i was in, while i was at uni and i would even oh, even like i'm all, i've been staying alone for most of my okay not most of my adult life but like I've been staying alone for a couple of years, like, yeah, staying alone whether in a single at hostel or renting. So I would fall sick and I would always take myself to hospital. I order an Uber, go for my next um, <laughs> IV injection, like that. But this one, eh, this one had come to finish me, but God was like, no, not today, not today. Like, I really had plans to do a lot of content, you know, in the lockdown, make the most of it, YouTube for Bubbles Glam. Some other content I was working on and some other things 
and this like set me back because i just like you know what barbara let's work the introduction do the wedding you know event management because it's also quite demanding so i'm like let's do this finish this function successfully and then i get started on the other things nothing a few days one week one and a half weeks i literally spent two weeks down and i cannot account for that time like i actually cannot account for that time like that's how sick that's how sick i was that's how bad it was but it's well i am now okay i am fine i am healthy i'm in good condition as you can see <laughs> so even after recovering just like that then the lockdown is lifted trying to figure out things like trying to figure out life generally and you know trying to get back in the game like you know when you come back and then you're like okay so where do i start from like where do I actually start from? I, I love doing this. I love doing that. And you're like, where do I actually start from? That's what I've been trying to figure out and praying for and praying about. Trying to get inspiration of the internet, fall back in love with the things that I love doing. And trying to strategize for my business and everything. So yeah, here we are. Starting again. Like I really... It's one of the hardest things, like starting afresh, to be honest, can be quite scary. But I even watched uh, someone by TD Jakes yesterday and it's like, you shouldn't be afraid to like go back to one. I mean, it depends on how you see the one really. Because going back to one, like, you know, at each level of life, you always as if you feel like you're starting afresh. I mean, think about it. I was having this conversation with my sister earlier. You came from, you know, when you're like in primary seven and you're feeling like the oldest kid in school. And then you go to a secondary school or high school. And then there you are, the form one or S1, like you're the youngest and there are people above you. And you feel like, oh my God, I have to start again. And you're like, the day I get to form six. And then you get to form six you work so hard to get there and you're feeling the eldest in school you know you don't have to do certain things housework what from six a final you know like <laughs> high school senior and then you're feeling like you have arrived you know and then suddenly you have to go to uni and now you're a freshman you know in UG we call them freshers so you're the fresher then i that statement really used to disturb me i was never okay with being called a fresher i don't know why i think because it made me feel like i was back to like one but then you know <laughs> and now this is like the after uni phase like you know i worked so hard i'm like i'm going to pass my exams i'm going to pass my degree be an engineer do what you know, I got fell in love with makeup, started a business, you know, I was, I was having it. Hmm? I was having it. And then it's like, I tried to prepare so much for this moment and you step out into the actual world, the reality. It's, it's, it's a bit different, to be honest. It feels like starting again. You get like all the previous things. Okay, not that they don't matter. I mean, they're foundations for everything. But like, you know, when you're holding on to like, your old self i don't know how to explain this but i feel like every level of your life does require like a new you i don't know if that makes sense as having this conversation with angel and yeah like you need to let to be able to let go of that 10 i mean if you've come from one to ten you need to be able to let go of that 10 like the achievements of 10 you know that feeling and start at 11 so that you can reach 20 because if you don't let go then you're end up going to end up back at actual one and not even 11 or 21 that's what i was saying with the one i think i should leave this this is a someone that i watched from td jakes yesterday it really brought light on that like it shed a lot of light on that for me to be honest and i was just like okay yeah barbara i think you're just scared you know like i worked so hard to reach where i had reached and it's like um I have to start working hard again to reach another level like for that level that one is done i accomplished everything like i did i did the, um, i did i did the damn thing but it's like now i have to start again and i'm just like where do i start from what do i do like even with youtube what kind of content do i want to do for my youtube you know what kind of message do i want to put out there and you know when you're in that whole anxiety um phase and all and you're not feeling yourself okay personally when i'm not feeling myself it's really hard to get in front of a camera or even do makeup i mean guys but first let's first acknowledge this subtle bit hmm? Mm, this was like no let's set a bit for the way but yeah like i'm starting afresh i'm starting again i'm excited to see what's 
on this journey what god has planned for me to be honest because i feel like every time i go down i don't come back to the same level that's you know like from a 10 to an 11 because i need to get to the 20 when i reach 20 i have to be ready that it's okay to go back to 21 because that's the only way i'm going to reach 30 and then 30 like every level you get like i am so excited and also scared to be honest but we leave it all to god is in control nail to need it anyway so yeah here i'm starting again i really i'm going to be sharing as much as i can because to be honest that's one of the reasons i started youtube sharing sharing the things that i love the nice things that i see you know when i travel whether i'm traveling or not i'll share gems i'll bring you guys along the journey i i really hope <laughs> i can be consistent with everything pray for a sister and thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel and constantly supporting me you guys we are close to 1k and i know we are going to get there like it's just about 18 people to 1k so let's get this channel to 1k and let's subscribe share the links i have higher content okay let <laughs> me have no type here but for real though i do have some fire content i recently had a getaway it was amazing and the vlogs are going to be up soon so you do have to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you don't want to miss the videos when they premiere and everything mm? and also you know follow my instagram follow my socials yeah we're starting again but fresh starts are amazing because it's like i empty canvas i like like i will be like I, I get to choose i get to paint my own picture like yeah to paint what i want i get to paint my own picture so let's see where this takes me i'm super excited guys trust in god pray to him listen to him he will guide you and you have to be ready for the wait i keep telling people hey eh? the wait is hard but when the what you've been waiting for which most times you don't even know what the hell you're waiting for but when it comes it's amazing and it everything makes sense everything falls together and everything like it kind of fits together like i don't know so yeah i'm excited and i'll be sharing with you guys more and also forget don't forget to book bubbles glam for your makeup for all functions i'm ready to travel if you have a function up country um i could basically find you wherever you are to get your makeup done okay okay and subscribe give a thumbs up and comment let me know how you guys are doing i hope you're doing amazing